Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are up close because I am gonna be trying some TikTok viral products that I picked up at Sephora. Some are not viral, just ones that intrigued me and I was excited to try out. So yes, that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you guys are enjoying, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. I already applied some lashes. These are from House of Lash. I'll link them in the description box below. Okay, I was able to snag these at my Sephora. They literally, I got on the list, the email list a few days ago and I went in today just to like get a few things and they had one come in. And so I was like, um, yes, this is the Drunk Elephant D Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. Apparently they're amazing. Everybody's talking about them on social media. So we are gonna try them out for our first time. <laughs> and it's a small little thing. It's so cute. Okay, so I already have my face um, moisturized, but you're supposed to just apply it like you would normal. I'm gonna shake mine up. Okay, Ooh. so let's try this out. I'm gonna do like a full face. Um, I didn't get a full face, but I got a lot of products today. So we're gonna try everything. So what I'm seeing is people are just kind of like applying it like that. I don't know if that's too much or not. So let's see. And then, oh my gosh. People are just rubbing it in like this. I'm really excited about these because I get really tan everywhere on my body except my face because I wear lots and lots of sunscreen and I usually wear a hat. So my face typically isn't tan. Let's see. Oh, I can't decide on what I think. Feels good. It doesn't have a smell. I like it, it gives me like a glowy finish. Okay, first I should have applied this lip mask. I've been seeing everybody use. I know this one's not like crazy viral right now because it's been out for a while, but I wanted to try it myself. Comes with a little brush in there and it is the color Sweet Candy. So, yes, it looks like this. The packaging's really pretty. And grab some. I don't know how much to grab. And I'm supposed to put this on before bed. I think I grabbed too much. It smells so good. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, a little goes a long way. I used way too much, but feels good. For foundation, I got the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Medium. I've seen this all over. I don't know how to open this. I've seen this all over TikTok, so I thought I would give it a try. They didn't have the travel size, which I'm kind of sad I really wanted just the travel size because if I don't love it, then whatever, I don't. Okay, it says on here for Superstar Youth Glow on here. So I'm not sure. It's supposed to just be a flawless filter on top of foundation if you want extra coverage or it's just like as is, it's just a really glowy type of foundation. Okay little doe foot applicator. Like I said, I got medium. I'm usually pretty tan. And I had the gal's um, color me. I can't tell. I don't know how much I need to put on. So let's see. Where's my beauty blender? I'm seeing people apply this with a brush, but I like to apply with a beauty blender just because I make it makes it look even more natural. 
Okay, let me grab my mirror so I can look up close. I am starting to think this is um, definitely worth the hype. Only because I love foundation that is really light. I mean, I am like a full coverage girl sometimes. But where I live in Hawaii, this is like really good. Like this looks just like my skin. And I can't tell in the lighting if it looks too dark, but I can't tell if it's oxidizing or if it's going to oxidize. I'll let you guys know. It's literally looking just like my skin. It looks beautiful and glowy. By the way, I washed my face before I did all this just so I had a clean slate to work with. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so pretty. Um, I could see it being like something buildable over top of your foundation, like if you're doing like more of a full coverage look, but this is like perfect for everyday wear. Okay, I have not set my concealer yet, but with all of that, it's looking so beautiful, like just so glowy now. I'm going to try the Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick that I keep seeing everywhere. I love Rare Beauty. Um, Selena Gomez is so cute. Um, this is in the shade Happy Soul. Let's see, the packaging is super pretty. I love this. It's so pretty. I think the shade I got is going to be good. I asked the gals that worked at Sephora and I feel like they matched me really well. So we shall see. I don't know if I should set my under eye, but I don't want anything to crease. So we shall see. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of bronzer. Oh, this is like butter. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. Okay. And I also don't know how much to add because... I haven't used this yet. So I'm just also gonna use my Beauty Blender for this. And I'm gonna use the back side. And I'm gonna just see how this blends in here. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It blends literally like butter. I should have done my neck too. Finger on my nose. Okay, my nose has a little too much now. But that blends so good. Like, let's see again. It looks like butter. <laughs> like, it feels like butter, I mean. It feels so good. My nose looks a little too crazy but literally this blends so good better than any other bronzer stick I have used and I've used a lot sorry I'm freaking I don't know if you can see how pretty that blended I'm gonna do the forehead like I'm telling you right now a lot of the time when I use my other foundation sticks I'm like blend 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 and this I'm just like I'm not feeling like I have to at all, like a few dabs and it's already like melted in. And I love that. Oh, I feel like it looks so pretty right now and glowy. I don't know what it's gonna look like when I'm editing, but like I really feel so healthy right now. Okay, now I'm gonna just set my face with my normal powder my favorite guys this is the Maybelline fit me I always talk about this um, I'm just gonna go ahead and like lightly dust my face because I feel a little too um dewy which is totally fine for like a beach day but I want to set it and I feel like I crease a lot easier than some so I'm gonna just lightly set my face um I should have used my cream bronzer I mean my cream blush because I did a lot of cream products, but I'm gonna use a different blush. 
oh, I feel like my face looks so good. Okay, that was light. So now I'm going to show you guys the bronzer that I got. Um, This wasn't viral. It's the Sephora bronzer. I have seen a lot of people use this, but I was curious to know. This is a really pretty shade. This is the shade um, Amalfi. <laughs> I'm not sure. So I'm just going to add a little bit. Not too much because I've got a lot of bronze going on. Just a little bit up here and a little bit up there. And then obviously for highlight, well, I, I need blush. I need blush. Let me be back. Let me get my blush. Okay, and then I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush. It's the shade Always Cheeky. It's their matte blush. Um, It's okay. It's not very pigmented, but it's fine. So there you go. Just a little bit of blush. My favorite highlighter right now. Um, it's the Milani Baked Highlighter in Champagne. 120. This is amazing. Like when I tell you amazing, I truly mean that. And with my highlighter, I like to do this. I forgot to do that. So before I do my brows with my damp, just because it melts the highlighter in. So brow gel, this is just Maybelline Fast Sculpt. I don't use too much product on it. And then I just go along my brows and brush them up. I like them to look fluffy. And then the other one. I'm liking the natural like up and awake. Okay. So lastly, the last product. Well, actually I got two products. Two other products at Sephora. This one is the lip liner in the shade Midday Rose. And this is the Sephora collection. Let me hurry and, let me open this really quick. Okay, you can come at me. I forgot to blend my uh, <laughs> bronzer under my lip, but I don't wanna take that out. So I blended it. I took off my lip mask really quick just cause I wanted to see. I love shades like this. It's like a rosy pink. Let's see, does it twist? Yes, it twists up. I love those. So I'm just gonna go ahead and See if I like this. I'm pretty picky with lip liners, but I was very intrigued by this shade because I love pinky nudes. And this is a good one. It's gliding on like butter. Yes. This is a win. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of that. I could just add my normal Maybelline lip gloss. Yeah, let's do that because I don't want to waste my um, stuff that I just got, my lip mask. So I'm just gonna use my Maybelline. This is my favorite gloss, it's almost out. This is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline and this is in the shade Ice. It's the bomb, I'm telling you right now. If you're going to buy a drugstore lip gloss, buy this one. It is so damn good and it tastes delicious. So there we are. The face looks amazing. Um, I really want to try the Drunk Elephant uh, tanning drops with the, like I said, the L'Oreal Lumi uh, Glotion Gushin, um, and see how they work together. But other than that, I thought these worked really good and I'm excited to try them for like a beach day. Foundation, I think it's a hype. I think it's good and I, I think it's worth it, but I need to try it more than once and see. Um, lastly, I bought this. I know everybody talks about the Brazilian Bum Bum um, spray, but when I went there, I, so I've got the Brazilian Bum Bum before, not the spray, but the lotion. And I compared all of the scents and I honestly thought this one smelled the best. This is the <clears throat> number 68. I just thought this one smelled better. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and spritz myself. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this one, this one is good. This one I like better than the other one. How do I turn this on? Put it back on. This smells delicious. I'm telling you right, right now it smells so good. So there you are. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.